welcome back to my channel. It's Cerise here and for today's video, oh my god, it arrived. I am so freaking excited. The Jeffree Star Alien Palette. Oh my god, excuse my ring light reflecting. It just gives it that like alien aura. Oh my god, I'm so freaking excited. This packaging is amazing. This literally just arrived. So this is Jeffree Star's new eyeshadow palette. It's vegan, cruelty free and 52 US dollars. All right, now that that's out of the way, let's open up this bad boy. I'm so excited. I did my nails especially for it, like made them all like pretty and futuristic and like alien-like and I'm, oh my god, I'm so excited! Ah, okay, all right. This is the packaging here and then this is it here. Oh my god, that is so cool. It's got like these squishy eyes and then on the back it's got a cute spaceship. Oh my god, this is so freaking cute. Oh my god, Thumbnail! <laughs> oh my god, I know I look crazy without any eyeshadow on because I thought I'm gonna do it for the video. So, let's open her up. <gasps> Ta-da! So it's got a very beautiful teardrop mirror. It's got no protector on it. But these are the colours here. Oh my freaking god. Oh my god. Yes, this is stunning. Like, these are so pretty. You can see that there's star patterns, and then there's an alien on X-Files, there's a spaceship on Flying Saucer, and the rest are all this beautiful star pattern here. So I think what I will do now is, because you can actually bend this backwards, so I'm going to do this, and I'm just going to swatch it all here on my arm for you. So, let's start with, let's start with Black Hole, and give that a swatch. Oh my god, that's so friggin' pigmented. Look at that. Oh my god. And then we've got tall grey. Oh my god. These shadows. Oh my god, this one proof. The names of this are amazing as well. Oh my god, look at that. Oh my god. Okay, this is Space Cowboy. Oh my god, I'm living for these shades. Oh my god. I like how you guys are probably here and just like, hurry the fuck up. <laughs> Alright, this is Area 51. Beautiful, beautiful. Ghost Og. And then we have X-Files, which is the alien one. That feels so cool. And then we have Moonrock, which looks amazing. I'm just wiping my fingers off camera <laughs> to clean them. Those are the colors so far, and they're such a nice array. So pretty. Alright, then we have Phone Home, which I feel like is going to definitely be my blending shade. And it's, look how pigmented it is. That's going over my tattoo. Okay, and then I've got Flying Saucer, which I feel like I need to use. Abduction, which is a very beautiful lime green. Again, amazing. And then we have this beautiful lime green. And then we've got UFO, which is this beautiful gold. Let's pop that there. Oh my god, look at that. Stunning. I'm like, I need my other arm at this point. Alright, and then we've got Gravity, which is there. Stunning. I'm going for the other arm now because you can't see anything. Okay, so that was Gravity. Then we have Martian Soil, which is a beautiful mustard color. Oh my god, I freaking love mustard, yes. Interstellar, which looks phenomenal. It even looks good as like a highlighter. Then the shade Alien. Oh my god, look at that green, yes. And then we have shade Titan. And then let's go with shade Pluto, which is like a white shimmer. Oh my god, look at that. Like, that's so shimmery. And then the side. Oh my god, guys, this is like amazing. Holy hell, yes. Alrighty, so now I'm going to go for an eye look, and I don't even know where to begin. This palette is literally so amazing looking. It's stunning. And I love how it's like a pleather outside. It's a really nice, cool effect. And how it says Alien on the front. I don't know how I'm going to store it, because it's not square. I think that's probably the only thing annoying about the packaging. Even though it is amazing, it's going to be annoying to store, because it won't store flat. But, I mean, it would store flat like this, but not stacked up, unless it's on its side. Alright, so... I really know how I'm going to hold this to use the mirror, just because it is a bit floppy. So that's probably my only, like, bad thing about that. But if I hold it like this with my finger like that, I think I can make it work. Okay. Let's zoom you on in a little tiny bit so we can kind of see what's going on. 
I just can't wait for Jeffrey to bring out brushes. That's what I'm, I think that's what everyone's waiting for because that's what I want. Okay, so I think I'm going to start with the shade Gravity because that's so up my alley. I'm like, yes, come at me, nerd. I'm going to use this as my transition shade. Check out that pigment, guys. <laughs> okay, that's that one there. I'm finding that this shade's a little bit fallouty compared to his other shades, but I'm so freaking excited to get, oh my god, just to, oh my god, I'm just so excited, and because I'm in New Zealand, I brought it off Beautylish, I didn't buy it from the Jeffree Star website, because if you buy it from the Jeffree Star website, like, people in New Zealand don't get that shit till like a month later, so I'm really excited that Beautylish actually shipped to me, yes. Okay, so that is shade Gravity, I love that. And then I think I'm going to put a shade on my lid. I think I really want to use that mustard color. I'm like, I, it will match my scrunchie. I'm ready. All right. Getting the shade Martian Soil. I'm just so stoked that there's a mustard color because I literally love the color mustard. I would wear it every day, like I love it, and I don't have an eyeshadow palette with it in it. I think what I love about this color scheme is that there's literally so many colors that I don't have, and like, of course I have nudes, but these like, the purples, the greens, it's just colors that he hasn't come out with, so he's not repeating colors, which I hate when brands do that, like, they repeat a lot of colors, but he doesn't, so I am really stoked about that. So anyway, I've got this beautiful mustard color on, and yeah, now I'm like, what to do now? I'm really afraid for this mirror. <laughs> to be honest, I need to like hold it real awkwardly. Ugh. I'm like, what to use next? What's, what to use next? I want to try and avoid a nude look if I can. But I'm a sucker for nudes and I'm just like, yes, I know everyone with this palette will literally do something crazy on the eyes and I'm just like, I want to do something chill. That's what I'm into, but I'm like, still I kind of want to zhuzh it up. So I think what I'm going to use is the shade Area 51. This purple one here and I'm gonna go under my waterline with that. It's gonna be my pop of color. Alrighty, so it's area 51 under the eyes and I think what I'm gonna put on the lid is I really want to try the shade probe and the shade UFO but I think I'm gonna go with interstellar and put that on my lid and just see what that's like so I'm gonna get that shade interstellar which is this glittery one here kind of just overtaking that whole mustard but I'm not even mad at that this interstellar color is amazing. Alright, so that's interstellar on the lid. And then I feel like I want to smoke it out with a color. So I think I'm going to go for shade Phone Home. And I'm going to use that. I'm doing a boring one. I'm sorry, kids. I'm doing a boring look. Alright. I'm pretty happy with that, but I think to zhuzh it up and make it super alien, I'm going to get shade UFO and put it in my, like, not waterline, but what is it, in the inner corner. And then I feel like I want to add more. I feel like that's too boring. I'm like, come on. All right, I'm going to add a flying saucer to my outer waterline then. How about that? How about that, kids? I'm doing it. There you go. We get the best of both worlds. We get our nude and we get our crazy look. How about that? Okay, cool. I'm just going to go off camera and I'm going to get some mascara and eyeliner and I'll be right back. So that is the look there.
happy, yay, I'm so freaking happy. So that is the final look that I've done with the Alien palette. So it just goes to show that you don't have to do crazy, insane looks that a lot of people are showing with this palette. Um, you can do like a downplayed nude kind of look. There's, well look, there's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven colors you could use for nude looks. You can do crazy looks and all that. I think a big misconception with this palette is that so many people were like, oh my God, you have to do insane looks with the greens and it's a, you know, not a palette for everybody, but this palette literally has colors for every single person. So it's not a palette that's just for like professionals or anything like that. Like there's definitely really nice nude colors, gold bases. There's definitely a million eye looks that, well probably not a million, but the eye looks that you could make would be out of this world. Ah, yes. <laughs> but yeah, honestly, you could make a lot of eye looks with this. So yeah, I'm really, really excited for this palette. I can't wait to make more looks. If you guys want me to, comment them down below so I know to do that. And I love you guys so much and I'll see you on the next one, which will be in a couple of minutes if you're following this because I'm doing the entire collection, but I started with the Alien palette. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you soon. Bye!